हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द फिफ्थ सेशन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर नंबर सिस्टम बिफोर दिस फोर सेशंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट रिव्यू ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर्स होल नंबर्स इंटीजर्स रैशनल नंबर्स एंड इरेशनल नंबर्स देयर डेसिमल एक्सप्रेशन रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ देयर डेसिमल वैल्यूज इन द लाइन नंबर लाइन रियल नंबर्स आज टर्मिनेटिंग एंड नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग डेसिमल्स कंडीशन फॉर टर्मिनेटिंग द डेसिमल एक्सप्रेशन along with that we have also covered the operation of rational numbers and irrational numbers and rationalization of the expressions whose denominators are in irrational form now today we will recall the laws of exponents and will use the term laws of rational indices for using this uh, laws of exponents to laws of rational indices so what the laws will come from Uh, laws of exponents to laws of rational indices how it will change and how it will be used in real numbers today we'll learn it okay after completion of this session we expect that you will be recall this laws of exponents you will be able to simplify the real numbers by using the laws of exponents apply this laws of exponents for rational indices also okay what the laws of exponents we have learnt in the previous class let us see we have learnt some exponents some laws of exponents like first law is a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n we have discussed this a to the power m into a to the power n equal to a to the power m plus n similarly the next law we have learnt a to the power m divided by a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n next is we'll learn a to the power m and whole raised to the power n is equal to a to the power m into n or a to the power mn similarly next law what we have discussed it is a to the power m into b to the power m is equal to a into b whole to the power m these are some laws we have already covered in the previous classes here this a b m n all we are taking as natural numbers we were taking as natural numbers but now we are discussing about real numbers so how this can be used in real numbers so let us observe in addition to all these things if i need to express a to the power 0 so how i will express a to the power 0 so let us see now when i write a to the power 0 what i have to write i have to write a to the power 0 using this laws of exponents what we have discussed i can write a to the power 0 equal to a to the power m minus m because i know 0 comes m minus m when i subtract the same numbers from here so it will be a to the power 0 but a to the power m minus m this comes from i can write a to the power m minus m comes from a to the power m by sorry a to the power m divided by a to the power m that means a to the power m minus m comes from a to the power m divided by a to the power m looking at this expression we can understand in this rational expression in the numerator and denominator both the same number of a are multiplied if i can extend you will find it is a into a into a similarly m number of times it is multiplied m times it is multiplied similarly in the denominator i find it is a into a into a it is also m times multiplied if you find all these factors are same as the numerator and denominator you can cancel all these factors and you will find finally it is 1 so finally what i get a to the power 0 equal to 1 i can write it here a to the power 0 equal to 1 okay so how i got a to the power 0 equal to 1 using the same laws of exponents we understood now but if we need to express a to the power minus 1 then what changes will be happen in the same law let us see here again if i want, want to make a to the power minus 1 i will write a to the power minus 1 is equal to in the same format if i into write a to the power m 
minus n form. So here I have to choose a m such that m will be less than n and it will be less than 1, less than n by 1. So I will choose it here, m must be less than n and m will be equal to n minus 1. So choosing such step of m, so, so let me take it here, a to the power minus 1 is equal to, I will take it here, a equal to 2 minus, here n I will choose as 3. So a to the power 2 minus 3, that means a to the power minus 1. Now what do you mean by a to the power 2 minus 3? Using the laws of exponent, we will find out here. This will be a to the power 2 minus 3 can be written as a to the power 2 divided by a to the power 3. Opening this expression now we will find there are 2a in the numerator while there are 3a is multiplied in the denominator. Now cancelling these factors from the numerator and denominator, I will find finally the answer is 1 by a because this a will be cancelled with this, this a will be cancelled with this and I will find numerator nothing will be left only 1 and denominator only one factor will be left that is a. So a to the power minus 1 finally I got at here 1 by a. So this is an expression we have derived from this laws of exponents. Okay, so from the laws of exponents, we find that a to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 by a. If I will express a to the power minus 2, so how will I write a to the power minus 2 is equal to, with the same formula, a to the power m minus n, I can take it here, m must be less than n, and m, I will select such that, it will be less than 2 by n. So now I will select a to the power minus 2 is equal to a to the power 1 minus 3. So this I can write as a to the power 1 divided by a to the power 3. This I can write as a divided by a into a into a. And cancelling the common factors from both the numerator and denominator I file, it is 1 by a square. So finally what I get, a to the power minus 2 is equal to 1 by a square. Okay, so here I got to know that a to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 by a and a to the power minus 2 equal to 1 by a square. Similarly, I can write a to the power minus n equal to 1 by a to the power n. Okay, so this is the generalizations I can draw from this laws of exponents what I get at here. Okay, so in this way we have expressed, in this way we have expressed a to the power minus n equal to 1 by a to the power n. Now for the a be a positive real number and n is a positive integer, let me check again. If I take a is a positive real number and n is a positive integer. For that, nth root of a, nth root of a. So what do you mean by nth root of a? Let us discuss about this nth root of a. So this nth root of a expression can be expressed as, this value will be expressed as a b if, if b to the power n equal to a and b must be greater than 0. So b to the power n equal to a and b must be greater than 0. So converting this radical form, this is a ra radical form, converting this radical form to exponential form, we can say now, if I find b equal to a to the power n, sorry, b, b to the power n equal to a, we can write a to the power 1 by n equal to b. And this a to the power 1 by n is expressed as nth root of a. So finally what I get? nth root of a is equal to a to the power 1 by n. Okay. So nth root of a we can express as a to the power 1 by n. Okay. So let us go for some example. Let us see how it happens. Let me give. Uh, 
cube root of 2. This is cube root of 2. So if I let cube root of 2, it indicates that it is 2 to the power 1 by 3. If I write fourth root of 3, this indicates that it is 3 to the power 1 by 4. Okay. So this is the expression. If, if I write nth root of a, then nth root of a can be changed into exponential form as a to the power 1 by n. So cube root of 2 is written as 2 to the power 1 by 3. Fourth root of 3 is written as 3 to the power 1 by 4. Okay. Similarly, suppose if I write change to 4 to the power 3 by 2. So here, Instead of 1 by 2, I have written at here 3 by 2. So, what will happen? So, I will split this now in this form 4 to the power 3 whole to the power 1 by 2. So, when it is a to the power m whole to the power n, the law of exponents we have used at here, it becomes now a to the power m into n, 3 into 1 by 2, 3 into 1 by 2, it becomes 3 by 2. So, 4 to the power 3 by 2, I expressed as 4 to the power 3 whole to the power 1 by 2. Now, in such case, I can write this equal to, how much this I will write now? 4 to the power 3, already we got it is 64. And 64 whole to the power 1 by 2. 64 is already we know it is 8 square. We can write as here, the 64 as 8 to the power 2 and whole to the power 1 by 2. Now, again, it is in the form of 8 to the power m whole to the power n. So, here what will happen? We will find that here with the same base, these powers will multiply a to the power m into n and when we multiply 2 into 1 by 2 it cancels finally i got it is 8 to the power 1 and value is 8 so 4 to the power 3 by 2 i got it is 8 okay this is my answer this was the initial expression what i wanted to find okay 4 to the power 3 by 2 i wanted to find i find it is 8 Okay, using this now 4 to the power 3 by 2, here the exponent is in a rational form. And using the same laws of exponent, I find this 4 to the power 3 by 2 as 8. Okay, so th this I could draw in the different methods. For example, 4 to the power 3 by 2, I could have written in this form. Let me write it as 4 to the power 1 by 2 first, then power 3. I could have changed these powers instead of 3 keeping inside and 1 by 2 outside, I will keep 1 by 2 inside, 3 keeping outside. So what will happen in that case? So I will find it is 4 to the power 1 by 2, 4 can be written as 2 to the power 2 whole to the power 1 by 2 and whole to the power 3. Now this 2 to the power 2 whole to the power 1 by 2 whole to the power 3, I can write as 2 to the power 1 by 2 into 1, 2 into 1 by 2, this will be multiplied, it will be 2 into 1 by 2 with whole to the power 3. Now this expression you will find it is 2 because this 2 and 1 by 2 they will cancel 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 1 is only 2 whole to the power 3. So finally 2 to the power 3 becomes 8. In such case also we will find the same expression is called this get the same value but in a different method. So this is the application of laws of exponents when you find the exponents are rational numbers. Okay, so from this expression, we can find what we can get at here now. Now we can say for a greater than 0, let me write for a greater than 0, m and n are the integers such that m and n doesn't have any common factors other than 1 and n greater than 0. So here m and n are the integers belong to z okay integers such that m and n doesn't have any common factors other than 1 and n greater than 0 sorry n greater than here 0 in this case we will find a to the power what i get at here now a to the power m by n is equal to it is nth root of a to the power m or i can say it is nth root of m to the power nth root of n. Either I can write m is inside of this uh, nth root or I can write it is outside. Both of these gives the same value. a to the power m by n is 
एंथ रूट ऑफ ए टू द पावर एन और एम टू दावर ए टू द पावर एन एंथ रूट ऑफ ए टू द पावर ए होल टू द पावर एम दिस टू थिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल I can go now twenty-seven to the power two by three. Suppose I will write it is twenty-seven to the power two by three. So how to find such type of example? So twenty-seven to the power two by three. I can write as twenty-seven to the power two whole to the power one by three. Now this I can write twenty-seven to the power two whole to the power one by three. This twenty-seven I can write as three to the power Three, hold the power two, and hold the power one by three. Now here you can find three to the power three. This twenty-seven is converted as three to the power three. Then power two is there already, and one by three is already there. So converting that, I can write it here now. Three to the power three into two into one by three. So multiplying all these things. Simultaneously, I can find this three and three will be getting cancelled. So remaining will be three to the power two, and finally it is nine. So what I get it here now, twenty-seven to the power two by three, it is equal to nine. Similarly, go for one more example. Let us see. If I take one more example, let us go for sixty-four by one twenty-five. Sixty-four by one twenty-five to the power minus two by three. Suppose here I will take it as a minus two by three. So how I will find it in here now? So this indicates that if this uh, base is already in the in the form of a rational expression, I can write sixty-four to the power minus two by three divided by one twenty-five to the power minus two by three. Okay. Now opening this, I will find. The sixty-four to the power minus two by three, I can write as here. It is uh, eight to the power. Sorry, it is uh, four to the power three. I know sixty-four is four to the power three. Hold to the power minus two by three. Divided by one twenty-five is five to the power three. I can write it as five to the power three. Hold to the power minus two by three. Okay. Now I can write as four to the power three. Into minus two by three divided by five to the power three into minus two by three. Now multiplying this, this three and three will be getting cancelled, and this three and three will be getting cancelled. Finally, I will get it is four to the power minus two divided by five to the power minus two. And this I can write right as four by five whole to the power minus two. As we have already know, eight to the power. A to the power minus two equal to one by a to the power two. We have already seen, so we can use that here now. Four by five, whole to the power minus two is equal to one by four by five, whole to the power two. This I can write as five by four, whole to the power two. And finally, what I will get the answer? This will be twenty-five by sixteen. So I have started with this sixty-four by one twenty-five, whole to the power. Minus two by three, and finally I reach to the answer twenty-five by sixteen. Hold to the power twenty-five by sixteen. So this is this was my question, and this is my answer. I started with this example sixty-four by one twenty-five to the power minus two by three. With moving in the formula uh, laws of exponent, I find finally it is twenty-five by sixteen. Okay. So in this way, if we we'll go for the uh, some more examples, we can uh, be clear. If I write to simplify, simplify an expression is fourth root of eighty one. It is fourth root of eighty one. Then minus eight into cube root of two hundred sixteen plus fifteen into fifteen into Fifth root of fifth root of thirty-two and plus square root of two hundred twenty-five. Okay, so this is my expression to write. Fourth root of eighty-one minus eight into cube root of two hundred sixteen plus fifteenth 
15 into fifth root of 32 plus under root of 225. So, how I will simplify this exponent? Again, using the same laws of exponents, we have to do it. Okay. So, looking at here, the fourth root of 81, I can write it here now. This will be 3 to the power 4 because 81 is 3 to the power 4, I know, and whole to the power 1 by 4. This fourth root of 81 can be converted as 1 by 4 minus 8 into this cube root of 216. This 216 I have converted as 6 to the power 3 and this cube root is converted as power 1 by 3. 15 into this 32 I will write as 2 to the power 5 whole to the power 1 by 5 plus 15 to the power 2 whole to the power 1 by 2. Now expressing this I will find 3 to the power 4 into 1 by 4 minus 8 into 6 to the power 3 into 1 by 3 plus 15 into 2 to the power 5 into 1 by 5 plus 15 to the power 2 into 1 by 2. Now this 4 and 4 is getting cancelled. This 3 and 3 is also getting cancelled. 5 and 5 is also getting cancelled and this 2 is 2, 2 and 2 is getting cancelled. So finally what I get at here, 3 to the power 1 means 3 minus 8 into 6 to the power 1 means 6 only plus 15 into 2 to the power 1 means 2 plus 15. Okay, Be because 15 to the power 1 is there. So finally what I will get at here now? So 3 minus 48 plus 30 plus 15. So this gives us 30 plus 15 plus 3, these are plus. So I will write, write it here is 48 minus 48 and this is equal to 0. So I have started with this expression and I restate it, it is 0. So simplifying all this expression by using laws of exponent, I find this answer, this expression's answer becomes 0. Okay, let us go for one more example. If we we'll keep on using this simplification or laws of exponents, let us go for one more example. Simplifying 2 into x cube y to the power 4 whole into 3x y to the power 5 and whole to the power 2. Now, how to simplify this expression and convert it into a single term? Now, this is 2 into x to the power 3 into y to the power 4. Splitting this term individually, I can write it is 2 into x to the power 3 into y to the power 4. But here this entire expression has a power another power 3. So th this power 2 will be changed to every individual's power. So now 3 to the power 2 into x to the power 2 into y to the power 10. So this 2 becomes each individual term's power now. So I got it here, it is 2 into, okay. So this expression will be, it is x to the power 3 into y to the power 4 into this 3 to the power 2 is again converted as 9 into x to the power 2 into y to the power 10. So this I can write as this 2 into 9 is multiplied and it becomes 18 into x to the power 3 is multiplied again with x to the power 2, y to the power 4 is multiplied with y to the power 10. Now this becomes now 18 into x to the power 3 will be added to this 2 because the same base is there, so it will be 2 x to the power 5. y to the power 4 is multiplied with y to the power 10 because the bases are same, so power will be added and it becomes now 14. So finally this is my expression, it is 18 into x to the power 5, y to the power 14. Okay, I have started with this expression. I reached to the 18 into x to the power 5 into y to the power 14. Okay, so this is another example. Let us go for one more example. Applying the same laws of exponents to the different examples, we'll find how different examples will be useful for the different questions. Okay, so let us simplify one more example. It is 1 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 3 plus 3 to the power 3 and hold the power 1 by 2. How will do this question now? Okay, so to do this question, 
we have to find this individual terms cube first. So 1 to the power 3, now we can write it as here 1. 2 to the power 3, because it is added at here, I cannot split this power to it is individual terms power, okay. So I have to find this entire value first. If it would, instead of addition, it would have been be multiplied, I could have uh, given this uh, power to each individual terms power. But now, as it is added, I have to find this values of this individual terms first. So 1 to the power 3 is 1, plus 2 to the power 3 becomes now 8, 3 to the power 3 becomes now 27, and whole to the power 1 by 2. This I can add now, 27 plus 8 is 35, plus 1 is 36, and whole to the power 1 by 2. So 36 already been noticed, 6 to the power 2, and whole to the power 1 by 2. So multiplying a to the power m, whole to the power n, so m and n are multiplied. So 2 into 1 by 2 will be multiplied and you will get it is 6 to the power 1. So finally the value will be 6. Okay. So this is another example where we have used this laws of exponent. Okay. Let us go to one more example. But here we'll find something different. Okay. Now in the next example, let us write 2 by 3 whole to the power x is multiplied with 3 by 2 whole to the power 2x. 2 by 3 whole to the power x multiplied with 3 by 2 whole to the power 2x gives us 81 by 16. Okay, in such case, how to solve this values of x? This is called an exponential equation. This is called exponential equation. Why it is called exponential equation? Because there is a variable whose value we have to find out and the variable is in an exponential form. Okay, that is why it is called exponential equation. So how to deal this type of questions now? So 2 by 3 whole to the power x is there into 3 by 2 whole to the power 2x is there and this side 81 and 16 is there. If you think 81 is uh, can be converted as 3 power 4 and 16 can be converted as 2 to the power 4. That means this 2 can be converted as 3 to the power 4 by 2 to the power 4. So let me write down here. So give I will give implication because I am going to solve it now. So 2 by 3 whole to the power x into 3 by 2 whole to the power 2x is equal to, now what I will do, do at here now, 81 by 16, this I can write as 3 to the power 4 divided by 2 to the power 4. Now here you will find, this is written 2 by 3, this is written 3 by 2, this is also 3 by 2 is coming. So what I will do not here, I wanted to change this 2 by 3 as 3 by 2. So what law of exponents will be used at here then? Laws of exponents we have learned, it is if a to the power minus 1, it is 1 by a, that I can use at here now. I will write here, this will be, instead of 2 by 3 to the power x, I can write 3 by 2 to the power minus x. If it will be 3 by 2 to the power minus x, if I open this, I will find it is 2 by 3 to the power x. That means, 2 by 3 to the power x, I have changed to 3 by 2 to the power minus x into this term is remain as it is 3 by 2 to the power 2x this equal to 3 by 2 to the power 4 so why i have changed this because i wanted to make both the sides with the same base so now what i get 3 by 2 to the power this is minus x and this is 2x because the both uh, bases are same and the power has to be added so it will be minus x plus 2x this side equal to 3 by 2 to the power 4 so finally, what I get at here now, 3 by 2 to the power x is equal to 3 by 2 to the power 4. This implies x equal to 4. This is my answer. Okay. By solving this way, we can also find this values of x. Okay. So here we learned at how to use this laws of exponents in the uh, rational numbers. So all these real numbers can be also used as the powers what we learned at here okay so this is all about this laws of exponents we have discussed now what we discussed in throughout this all chapters in the all the chapters we can we have find a lots of things we have uh, seen we have started with the natural numbers we reached to the whole numbers then we move to the integers then we move to the rational numbers how to express the rational numbers on the number line how to operate the rational numbers 
then from the rational numbers we came to the need of irrational number and what is the irrational number how it is to be presented within the number line where does it lie do the uh, irrational numbers are finite or infinite we have seen how to represent this irrational numbers on the number line also then we started uh, operating uh, real numbers all real numbers addition with real numbers uh, subtraction multiplication division we have seen then we came to uh, rational expressions of this decimal expressions or dec uh, rational numbers uh, real numbers rational expressions that means if it is expressed in decimal form how it has to be converted into rational expression similarly when it is expressed in rational form how to be converted in decimal form all these things we have discussed then uh, we have to go for more some things uh, we have learned about the laws of exponents and the laws of exponents how it will be changed to the from natural number and whole number how it changed to the rational number and real number we have also seen it here this is all things we have to practice a number of questions are given to you for practice more okay you can see uh, a number of questions will be given to you okay through the worksheets given in the latter period it will be given in the next sheet uh, you can find it here and you can go for the practicing also okay this is a small uh, thing you have to practice more all these uh, chapters we have discussed so have a better practice so thank you so much